Evander Holyfield and Vinnie Matalone. Evander Holyfield, in my opinion, Jesse James Lehan, one of the most underrated fighters in his era. Oh, I believe so, too. I mean, just, just what he's done from cruiserweight all the way to heavyweight, it's incredible. Underrated. Unfortunately for him, he was during the Tyson era where people seemed to fall more in love with Tyson's off the out of the ring antics than actually the accomplishments in the ring. And I always felt that had Holyfield had a chance to fight Tyson in 1991 before Tyson went to jail, he might have been perceived differently by the American public because I always felt even at that time that he would have beaten Mike Tyson. been a true warrior. Mm -hmm. Only been stopped twice in his career. Matt alone doing what he said he would do. He's come right after, right after Evander. Sticking that jab out. to be successful in driving him back. Hey, the right hand. How should he cut off the line? Well, just go to the right, go to the left. If Randall wants to go to his left, cut him off a little sooner than he wants to get there. So don't follow him in Don't just line. follow him in a straight line. You got you to gotta cut the wrong ring off on him. Like, he should be going to his right while Randall goes to his left and vice versa. I think he wants to slow Evander down, slow, and that's how you slow a fighter down, go to the body. Holyfield pumping out that jab here in the first round. Not alone is a bleeder, so... I see an uppercut coming from Evander. I just, I don't know. I just see an uppercut. Uh, well, I think he was, uh, yeah, in. just the way he's leaning in, being aggressive, coming up down the middle. He's cut already. Madelon's cut with that left hook that I think we saw early on, that double left hook. He's cut already. Another caution, Holyfield, about a headbutt. Uh, if it's ruled an accidental clash of heads and we don't get through four rounds, to no contest. Then he's cut along the left eye. That was yeah, from those hooks. That was from those hooks. And he is pleading with the doctor to please let me continue. together again. Oh, he's bleeding bad now. He is bleeding bad. Well, the, the blood from the right eye is from punches. The one from the forehead is from the clash of heads. They would need a surgeon at this point to stop that bleeding. Only feel peppers in the punches. Holyfield did not like the way Madelon was coming after him. Madelon charging in with his head. Holyfield just got a tougher head. <laughs> tougher skin. Well, that's a smart thing for him to do. If someone's charging, you put your head down. You don't want to get hit in the, in the eyes or in the nose. With all that said, Holyfield landed a lot of good punches in round number one. Madelon didn't do it too bad. He was landing good left hooks to the body. Did you give the round to Madelon, though? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Uh, it was close, though. Again, the blood oozes out of the forehead. At least it's not right over an eye or on an eyelid. Yeah. But it's drip, it's running good. See 
know he's not going straight back. He's going in circles, gets back in the middle of the ring. That's what I wanted those other fighters to do early on. They're not for undisputed. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's a good learning experience. Yeah, but look at Evander. And that's what world champions do, get back in the center of the ring. stop this fight. He's a tough hombre. And time back in. Trying to throw those hooks inside. Holyfield continues to work that jab. Watching Evander Holyfield through the years, I know he likes to throw that left hook for one. He's going to come back with the overhand right, right after a left hook. That's his style, though. I don't know. Melon was a pitcher in, uh, in baseball. And uh, he just wants to hit, you know, throw strikes every time. He's almost throwing that right hand like he pitched it. Okay. Well, let's feel blocking some of the offense from Montalong. Holyfield's been pretty sharp with his jab. That cut on Montalone's forehead from a clash of heads in round one. Good body work by Montalone. As we roll to the end of the second. Round number three for Evander Holyfield and Vinnie Montalone. Montalone cut along the right eye from a Holyfield left in round one, then a clash of heads. And despite the protest from the Montalone camp, it was actually Montalone who led with his head that caused the cut. Field has used a steady diet of left hooks. Get the ball out of the fight. Ronnie Shields loved the jab that Evander was throwing in, and that sets up everything else. That's going to set up the left hooks, the right uppercuts, and set everything else up because Madelon's going to be expecting that jab. Right under the right eye. It's all those left hooks. Yep. You know, the interesting thing is if they could somehow stem the bleeding. We to see what kind of gas Holyfield had in the tank if we got the late round. Exactly. I would like to see that. Because he's fought at a pretty good pace. Moved in round number Mother one. He's pumped the right. jab. He's done a lot of left hooks. He's landed a lot of using shots. Using his legs well as well. Using his legs well in this round. Sticking that jab out. I was watching the Klitschko fight last week in Germany, and Lennox Lewis was doing the broadcast on HBO, and he talked about one of the guys that hit him to the body harder than anyone in his career was Evander Holyfield. He hasn't really attacked Montalone's body. He's got spin out of those ropes again. I'd love to see that.
face is not looking too good right now either. And Al Cerdo has come up on the ring apron. Al Cerdo, you can see him waving. That's the corner of Madalone, and he stops the fight. And that's a veteran boxing guy, Al Cerdo, doing the right thing yeah. because Madalone was getting pounded. He was going to get knocked out or, or cut worse, and he did not need that. There was no way he was going to win that round or that fight. Holyfield was pounding Madalone in that third round. Boy, the work rate for Evander Holyfield through almost three rounds, pretty darn impressive. And he's not breathing hard. <laughs> Has he ever not been in shape? No cuts. All right, in round number one, Holyfield, with his left hooks, opened up a cut on the right eye. And then, watch here, Montalone comes charging in. He was charging in from the, from the get-go. And the head's clashed. Montalone argued with the doctors, let's keep it going, and then watch Holyfield go to work. The uppercut. Oh. Oh. And with the left hook behind it. I would like to know how many left hooks he threw in this fight. That was incredible. Just been pounding away and not long. It's amazing he didn't go down. And finally, Al Cerdo came up on the ring apron and called a quit to the fight out of Madalong's corner. So Evander Holyfield gets his 41st professional victory and his 27th stoppage at the ripe old age of 44. Referee Ruben Carrion stops the fight with an official time of 2 minutes, 48 seconds of round number 3. Your winner, by way of technical knockout.